What's up you guys, it's Ness. It's been a while since I made a video, but welcome back. Welcome to my creative studio. This video is not gonna be a long drawn out video, but I did wanna spend this video or make this video particularly to show you my new creative space uh, called FTW Studios LA. Not only is it for me to work out of, but it's also for other creatives to book out and work out of as well. There's a lot of creative spaces in LA that you can take advantage of, but none like this, you know what I'm saying? I feel like everybody feels like that about this space, but you know what I'm saying? And it's black owned, so you know what I'm saying? Tap in, let's get it. Let me just show you guys around gotta bring it all right all right so boom real quick let's just talk about this area obviously this is where a lot of shoots will happen um and be going down in this space right here we have nine foot backdrops up there right now i have three colors white green and a that's not fashion gray but it's like a stone gray slate gray something like that I don't really like using fashion gray because like it's really dark, you know what I'm saying? But anyway, so yeah, at any point in time, if you need a color or you need something swapped out, changed out, if you want another swipe, you know what I'm saying? Just talk to me personally and we can make it happen. Over here, we have like carts and stuff like that. So that way, you know, when you are shooting, um, you know, the cart, when I'm shooting, typically the cart is here. I'll have the 5K LG monitor right here. Matter of fact, let me just show you what, the, uh, what it looks like with the monitor on it. Okay, so boom. So typically when I'm shooting, I have this monitor here and then I put my laptop here and then, um, you know, I'll just plug in, tether to my camera, pop, pop, pop. This is great because you can see, you know, the shots, the client can see the shots, you can turn it this way, you know. So this area is really functional, really simple, straightforward to the point. And yeah, I know you guys see it behind me, but there's also a standing mirror that you can move at any point in time. Let me just move it. You know, so while you're posing, you can make sure you do, you know, just looking right, everything good, you know what I mean? So, yes, very nice. I didn't, I, I felt like for my space, for my creative space, I wanted to make sure that everything was about efficiency and functionality. So nothing in here is like, number one, nothing in here is cheap. And number two, um, everything was thought of with efficiency in mind. So I was thinking about you the whole time. I mean, so I was thinking about me and you the whole time. You know what I'm saying? So this area over here is just a seating area for clients or other models, so on and so forth when they come through. This, this area is just a waiting area in general for people when they come through. Uh, couch is very comfortable. Got the Marshall speaker over here. Quality is great, you know what I'm saying? So when you're listening to your tunes or you're shooting and you want to get the model in their bag or you know, you're working with the artist and they want to play the music while you're shooting, whatever. You know what I'm saying? We got some great audio, great acoustics, you feel me? La la la. Nice. <laughs> this area over here is the makeup artist area. So whenever the talent arrives and the makeup artist arrives, this is where they'll set up all their stuff. Um, this table I really like because it has two outlets on the top of the table so they can plug in their phones or whatever they need to plug in, lights, whatever. So I really love this table, it's really simple. I got it from, I, you wanna know where I got it from? Just ask, I got you. Over here, we got the director's chair, you know what I'm saying? It's already assembled, everything's good, everything's great. Boom, beat face, perfect, nice. I mean, need that. So, you know, makeup artists, you don't have to worry about bringing your own chairs. Also, there's like cleaning spray over here. There's like a uh, glass cleaner to wipe the glass down so it's not blurry. Um, and then we have some disinfectant wipes in there. So, you know, this area will always be clean. It'll always be ready and prepped for the talent and makeup artists, so yeah. Great area. All right, so over here, this desk is not only a stand-up desk, you know what I'm saying? So you can plug it into the wall, press the button, it'll go up and down accordingly. Um, you know, cause some people don't wanna sit down and work. When the LG monitor isn't in use, it is typically here, and you could either plug your laptop up here and connect to it uh, after the shoot to, you know what I'm saying, just show the models the photos. I don't know if you guys wanna sit down. Or, you know what I'm saying, you could take all this stuff off of the desk and just use the desk itself, move it around the studio um, to just sit down and work. You know what I'm saying, this is also a productivity space. So, you know, over here on this side is the clothing rack. It doesn't have wheels on it, but it's a clothing rack nonetheless. This space is de designated for all the clothes, so it's here. We got a couple hooks here, and we have some hangers here. So, you know, I think it's like 10 near or eight or something like that. We also have some Apple boxes here and a steamer. So when you guys book the studio, that stuff is always available to use. And, um, you know, easy come, easy go, right? All right, so some of you may not care about this little feature here, but I actually bought and installed this sink because not only am I a photographer, but I'm a barber as well. So when, um, you know, I have clients and they need their hair washed, I wash their hair here. 
but uh, other professionals as well, or just, you know, regularly just to be able to wash your hands, so on and so forth, so blah, 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 you know, is just a major plus to have in studio. Um, sometimes you might need to do a look, you need to fill up a bottle or something, you have a sink right here. So, sink, amazing. One of the last things that I wanted to show you guys in the room is the fact that this room can be blacked out with these blackout curtains, so I'm just gonna pull them and let you see how they look. Boom. Can you see me? You can't see me. That's because it's blacked out. This is how it looks when the room is blacked out. This is great for when you're shooting beauty and you want to use strobes or you know you just want to do some studio work and you don't want any natural light in your shots. This is really good for that. That's why I installed it. So at any point in time during the shoot, during your session, you can always black out the room and just have it, you know, um, just have a little bit more control over the light that you would like to have when you're shooting. So yeah, that's a feature. Let's open these back up. All right, so now to show you this side of the room, let's show you the other side of the room. All right, so this side of the room is personally my favorite side of the room only because, like I said, I'm a barber. I was a barber first before I was a photographer, videographer, anything else. I was a barber. I was a soldier first, and then I became a barber, and then I became a photographer and everything else. So, uh, but yeah, this is my favorite side of the room. This is the barber area slash hairstyling area. Um, this is where I work. This is where other hairstylists and professionals will work. This is the seating area over here. Come a little closer though, let me just... Get over here! So right here we have this state-of-the-art, very nice barber chair. You get what I'm saying? Had to make sure my clients get nothing but the best. So when they sit down, you know what I'm saying? They could just, you know what I mean? Gotta feel like a king at all times and or queen, you know what I mean? So, very nice. Mirrors, ring lights, all this stuff that's here won't be here. This is just my barber stuff because I have clients coming today. Over in this area right here, we have seat stands with sandbags on them. Um, we have a little refrigerator with uh, some beverages that you can purchase. Um, there's the beverage center, the beverage center. So you scan either the Cash App or the Venmo, and you know what I mean. You pay for your drink. Have a Dyson vacuum over here. I'm all about the appliances because I love high-end home appliances. So in the studio, I'm not gonna spare any expense when it comes to the appliances, but uh, I had to get a really good vacuum because when there's hair, um, you know, just different things that you're working with as a creative or other people working with, you just wanna be able to get it up and not have to sweep the whole studio. This just does the job perfectly. So again, the studio for me is about efficiency and effectiveness when it comes to just moving around, operating, everything is just straightforward, straight to the point, you know where everything is. You can see everything, you can eyeball everything, you can get to everything easy. So this area over here is the seating area. You know, when people are getting their hair done or, you know, just haircuts, whatever, they can sit over here and just, you know, talk or, you know, if somebody brings somebody that they that they came with and they're getting a haircut or, they're, or whatever the situation is, they can just sit down here and just, you know, chill out. Uh, the TV is here. It's fully rotatable so, so the client can see it or whoever needs to see it. It is fully rotatable and accessible. And there's a PS4 on the wall so you can play the game if you're into that type of thing like me. I'm a huge nerd. So I'm always playing some type of RPG or Elder Scrolls, Dragon's Dogma, Dragon Ball, something like something nerdy I'm always into. So, you know, why not have a system in here for other people to tap in and get into their nerdiness or just burn some time while they're waiting. Over on this side of the studio, I put two Husky lockers to act as storage and just, you know, secure the equipment that I don't want people to have full access to 24 seven. Uh, that's pretty much it for the studio tour. It's a thousand square foot space. Um, I really love this space. I'm really proud of what I've done with it. Um, that's about it for the video. I hope you guys enjoyed my studio tour. There was one more thing that I forgot to show you with these curtains. Um, you could actually divide the room when you're shooting on the other side of the room or cutting or doing hair, whatever. You know, so you can divide the room, just pull these curtains and you can have a little bit a little bit, a wee bit, just a tad bit more privacy when you're doing your thing, you know what I'm saying? You might not want everybody watching you or anybody seeing what you're doing. So, you know, you could always pull the curtains and just get a little bit more privacy. FTW Studios LA, tap in. I've been meeting a lot of dope creatives and dope people, so I'm just looking forward to meeting more. So that's about it, you know what I mean? Peace, love, and blessings, and finesse the world, baby. You know what I'm saying? Hey. <laughs>